30 yards. I might try to shoot him depending on how I feel here. John, what are you doing? I'm trying to air up the uh, nicest sleeping pad in the world. <laughs> because uh, I'm a sissy for sleeping pads, apparently. What he did is he took a Casper mattress and a purple mattress, put them together, and an air mattress, <laughs> and that's what you have. <laughs> and there's a, like an inflatable boat in there somewhere, too, I think. But, but seriously, I, I struggle with getting comfortable and being able to sleep in the backwoods and uh this is a new pad from climate it's got a memory foam pad on top of it and uh i'm gonna give it a shot and it can be yours for four pages four yeah no four well it's it's available on our website go ahead and down in the doobly do and click the link and uh <laughs> there's a link yeah. in the description for it. yeah that's it. what it is link in the description yeah. go check it out Well, not only that, but like we said, getting in at two, getting into bed at two, waking up at five, we're running on three hours of sleep. Yeah. As um, I see, so I ranged on the other side of the ridge. I ranged visibility, and we're at like sixty yards. Yeah. So we've got basically two options: to go back to the tent and get a little sleep. Hopefully, the fog will clear out, and do a, a nice afternoon evening hunt. Um, or we like still hunt with 60 yards of viz. It seems like the nap might be the better option. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, the forecast is calling for rain. Yeah, so rain later today. Hopefully it, the rain kind of pushes out the fog. What's crazy is how alone we are out here. I don't know if it's the weather. Yeah. But. We've heard some shots off in the distance, but nothing close. To have this area to ourselves is a dream. Just gotta wait for the fog to clear out. Well, uh, had a nap. It's uh, like 1.30. And we're probably gonna try to go out in the rain. It's been raining nonstop since 11 or so. And uh, 
Probably gonna go out in the rain with minimal gear, no camera gear, uh, no backpacks, just rain gear, and try to see if we can't find some deer to shoot at. We'll see what happens, but um, we gotta do something. We're here to hunt. We can't let the rain keep us in the whole time, so it's gonna get wet. We're off. We're doing the cell phone hunting, guys. We left the cameras at home. It's too wet. We're in the uh, tent, and we're we're three men about looking for a deer. So sorry for the crappy footage, but we're doing our best to get it. so far. Should bet it. Probably like all the other deer are doing right now. Just keep pushing down this ridge and see what I can see. It's about uh, 4.45 and uh, this weather's really nice. I'm soaked all the way through all my layers. So the pants, the pants are holding up good. Um, I'm going to start making my way back to camp. Doesn't look like this weather's gonna let up at all this evening. It's just brutal. Hopefully we can sleep it off in the morning. We've got like huntable conditions. So let's see how it goes. Well, yeah. It's like eight in the morning. We're still in the tents. It's pouring rain. It's supposed to stop this morning sometime. But uh all of our rain gear is soaked through, so we're basically out of commission as long as it's raining, so we're waiting for the rain to stop. Everyone's tents are leaking, <laughs> so we've all got soaking wet sleeping bags, and the floors of our tent have water in them. It's exciting, but uh, hopefully the weather breaks and we can get out and get after some critters. Funnest trip ever. <laughs> We need like the weather, the meteorologist music. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, <laughs> Clayton, with your AccuWeather report. It's, it's foggy. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little stir crazy. We've been in our tits for well since last night at like 8 p.m. and it's about 10 a.m. and I see the sun for the first time in a day and a half. We're itching to hunt. We've got a day and a half left. The weather has socked us in. We tried to get out there and hustle up some animals. Between us, we put in like 20 plus miles. It's all next to nothing. They were just hunkered down with the storm, but it looks like it finally broke. It's still foggy, but uh, animals are gonna be out and they're gonna be hungry. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go slock one or three.
you looking at the same buck? Did you drop him? He's on his back, dead. I got the wrong buck. There's another one. Get over here. Right the one you're looking at. Yeah, come on, shoot him. buck I just shot was uh, over there. He was uh, 530 yards and this one. Oh, he's running downhill. See him, Clayton? He's running across the hill. Okay, we got stuff to do. He's running toward the other buck. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. He's 530 now. Okay, he's to the left, he's by the base of the tree. Oh, he's moving. I'm gonna try a shot. He's Hang got, on. Man, his butt's facing me, I don't have a shot. Yeah, just wait. We can get back on him, too. We gotta go over to get mine anyway, so we can get back on him. Where's he at now? He's steadily yeah. moving up. Yeah. I'm buying that log, huh? It's 584. He's getting out there, man. Just keeps walking further and further away, so he might be able to shoot him. Well, we're hiking up to see my buck. We did a little more glass hunting for about an hour. We're, uh, we're going over there to see what it looks like. All I know is he was legal and outside his ears, I think. So we're not being picky on this hunt. We're just going for going for a legal buck. So. This buck, he's got food. Here, buddy. <laughs> that is an old, mature oh. trophy. Oh, he's <laughs> cheaters. symmetrical. Look at the eye guards. Dude, his cheaters are symmetrical, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes, dude. Dude, he's a wall hanger. He's a wall hanger. My wife's gonna hate me. You, uh, that might be the biggest blacktail you ever killed in your life, right there. It's that a is good a possibility. That is a monster blacktail. Look at this guy. That is incredible. Wow. That is a giant. All right, guys, so 2021 blacktail hunting in California. This is a true Colombian blacktail right here. So this is uh, in the amateur world what we would call a giant. And uh, we're, I'm so happy. He was over here on this hillside feeding with another forked horn. And um, it was 533 yards and I've been practicing and I got my dope chart on the side of my gun and I knew I could take it. So um, we smoked him. And I don't know what he's gonna score. It's not even super important to me, but he's a beautiful, symmetric, giant blacktail. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. So, um, been a lot of hard work. This trip has been daunting so far. It's been pouring rain. I mean, it's just, it's been crazy. You soaked all of our sleeping bags and clothes all got soaked in the storm. Inside of our tents leaked. Um, but here we are. Next day, the sun broke out and the critters are running around and we had this amazing opportunity. So. 
I'm super excited. Uh, John and Clayton still have tags and we still got another day and a half to make it happen. So we're going to hurry and get this guy cut up and out of the mountain and, uh, and then get back hunting again. So we're having a yard sale here. And what you're seeing is a scene from Dr. Seuss. What's that story about where the people come in and use everything? Sneedville? Yeah. So here you have your Sneeds. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is the result of three leaky tents and like a day and a half of straight rain. Everything we had was wet. Sleeping bags, pads, clothes, everything. Pillows. So finally got some sunshine and trying to dry some stuff out. Also there's a giant buck if you guys haven't heard right over there. So let's hear the story. So I heard you guys shooting, I knew it had to be you guys. So I just said, all right, well they're together, they'll, they'll figure it out. I come down the same ridge and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go the same exact route that I went when I killed my buck last year. And so I, it's exactly what I archery did. Archery buck. My archery buck last year. I left my pack down there. I went down into the bottom and just started rifle hunting my way up, figuring I'd get something up out of its bed. Cause at that point I hadn't seen anything. I'm just like, whatever. He jumps up out of the, out of the brush and boom. I. As soon as I shot, he was going uphill and he turned like this and went, I'm like, he, he's hit, but he wouldn't stop. Mm. So I racked another one in there, shot him again, and he went, and I, he, I hit him Pumped again. Up. And, you know, he just kept moving side hilling though. He didn't turn downhill yet. So I put another one in him, missed that shot, loaded another one, put another one in him, and he, and he went down and he was dead 100 yards from where I laid my pack. That's a tough deer, man. <laughs> <laughs> Two bucks down. In uh, one day, less than what five hours apart? Yeah, three hours. Probably three apart. hours apart, maybe. Yeah, and they're both. Yours is a tank, and mine's a dandy three point. Yep. That's awesome. Now we gotta get Clayton one. There he is, speaking of the devil up on the hill. Well, we're uh, getting John's deer out of here. Clayton's still hunting, so hopefully he finds something to shoot at. It's been an amazing day. Two bucks down. And, uh, you know, just one of those deals. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. This time it worked out. I'm so, so, so excited. I keep hauling meat. Oh my gosh. Holy crud, dude. Oh. Pretty tiny, huh? Oh my gosh, dude, that's a monster. He's 20, he's every bit of 24. Yeah, he's huge, dude. About 13, 14 tall. Dude. What a tank, right? That is a tank. Congratulations, dude. That is freaking awesome.
So, tomorrow morning, all three of us go get Clayton a buck. And then, what do we do when we get one down? We're gonna pack them all back to the truck and then yeah. come back into just, our camp. Just all three of us tag. Yep, know. put our animals yeah. in our backpack. I'm gonna put a little bit of mine in yours and a little bit of mine in yours, and then we can all go. <laughs> This wind has been crazy, so everything's kind of hunkered down. And um, we're back at the spot where Ben shot his buck yesterday morning. And I think what our plan is, it looks like down the ridge, the wind isn't so bad, because we're pretty close to the top. <clears throat> so we're gonna head down the ridge, try to get out of this wind and see if there's anything moving feet out feeding, because uh, nothing up here at the top, but it's just getting, blasted with wind. It was windy all night. Well, John and I are hiking out of the bottom of this pit. We, uh, we all three hiked down here to try to find Clayton Buck. We dropped about 1,600 feet in elevation. And, uh, and then we realized the meat hanging up in camp is probably gonna be in the sun this time of day. So John and I are humping back to camp, try to get that meat moved to the shade or make sure it's in the shade. Clayton's hunting his way up another ridge, so. We're getting ready to pack out. We've got about two miles to get back to truck. And ordinarily, this would be a full backpack right here. But I've still got to add all that to this. So it's going to be exciting. We're each uh, hauling out a big chunk of meat because we got two bucks down and three guys. So everyone's probably hauling what 40 at least 40 or 50 pounds of meat uh, so both the bucks were pretty good sized deer so it's it's gonna be real getting back to the truck but we'll get there This is an officially, oh wait, I gotta put my rifle on. Other than that, <laughs> it's a full pack. So this, if you ever wonder what a full backpack looks like, if you
your backpack doesn't look like this, it's not full. <laughs> All right, we're heading out, guys. A couple miles, we'll be home free. Sitting in leather pickup seats, drinking soda pops. A couple miles. Here's Clayton, never to disappoint with his signature hobo camp. <laughs> <laughs> year over year, he consistently brings the fashion with the Hopo Village Pack. Back to the truck. We had a good time. Killed a couple nice bucks, and uh, now we get to go home, and see our families. We're more than any trip we've been on. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. It was in the weather, and just didn't know if we we're gonna be able to come up here at all because of the forest closures, and and then just to get it done, and the two bucks in the same day. A monster trophy, Mondo. Boone and Crockett, Black and Decker, I mean. It was a good trip. We enjoyed ourselves and hated ourselves. A um, lot of hard work. What was that pack out? What was the total weight that we packed out? 255, 255 pounds total weight between the three of us. So we, we, we hauled. Um, but uh, yeah, we it was amazing. I mean, weather beat us up conditions beat us up the deer beat us up the mountain beat us up but at the end you know we were sitting in our tent on Sunday morning we we're sitting in our tent we didn't do the morning hunt because it was just rain and rain it rained all night all day Saturday so we're sitting in our tent and we're saying man if this rain would just break we feel like it'd be prime hunting conditions and it would make all this worth it you know we're sitting in wet sleeping bags with wet clothes and wet pillows and everything was wet just it was, it was nasty. And then sure enough, all the wetness is a distant memory. Yeah, it's amazing how stuff comes together like that. You're in the pit of despair and then a few hours later you're high-fiving and hugging on the side of a mountain somewhere. So it was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the film. Um, don't forget to follow the channel. We got some more cool hunts coming up. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm never... <laughs> I'll never forget the 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 uh, emergency poopy situation. <laughs> we had those two bucks or what a three bucks or something walking in. Yeah. We were bucks. we were archery hunting and we were in a foxhole. They had us pinned down so bad. <laughs> and Clayton's like I could hear his stomach rumbling from like twenty feet away. <laughs> it's like I gotta go. I'm like, dude, don't move, they're gonna see it. <laughs> I gotta go. As soon as those deer left, <laughs> over the log runs flying down a scree hill <laughs> oh that was bad i think i rubbed off on you too yeah. and I, as, soon as, as soon as it was over i was i was out there too